Good evening, Jessica Van Vonderen with ABC News. The federal government's refusal to help Clive Palmer's ailing nickel refinery has prompted calls for the Palaszczuk government to step in. Without a financial guarantor, the plant is set to close, costing hundreds of jobs. But the state government isn't rushing its decision. Palmer's Queensland nickel ship is going down and everyone scrambling for a lifeboat. A guarantor is needed for a $10 million loan to keep it afloat and save jobs. But the federal government says it won't take the risk. This cannot continue to be a political football. We need an outcome. The state government hoped the Commonwealth would step in, but their request has been denied. They seem to be either begging the federal government to help them blaming the federal government for things or just putting their hand out. The state government's now deliberating about what to do. We just want to make sure that if we put any money into this as guarantor, that taxpayers' money is safe, that that money were used for the eventual sale of Queensland Nickel. A decision is expected early next week. The Palaszczuk Labor government had inklings and warnings about this in late 2015 and have done nothing about it until it became a crisis. Townsville's mayor says it will cost a lot more in unemployment packages for 550 workers if QNI sinks. This isn't about supporting Clive Palmer. This is about supporting the administrators and the jobs and keeping the plant open so it can be sold. Federal governments from both sides have offered big bailouts in the last few years, from Cadbury to forestry, steel and most notoriously the car industry, yet notably all in southern states. Meanwhile, the multi-million dollar man at the centre of it all has declined to comment. Josh Bavis, ABC News, Brisbane.